everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, Talking Dog Stitcher here on YouTube and over on Instagram as well. And this is my YouTube channel about cross stitch. If you're joining me for my end of July update video, there has been quite a bit going on in the past few weeks of July. So I think it's been about two weeks since I last spoke to you. I've just got back from the Floss Friends UK summer retreat, which I've just about recovered from. My, my, my bank account may never recover, but I have just about recovered. Um, there are some whips, some starts, some finishes to show you. Um, so we'll pretty much get straight into it. You can see I'm in a new place today. I am filming on my lunch break. I work from home, so we are in my office and conveniently, um, the backdrop of my craft cupboard, all of my whips in their natural habitat. Or for the most part, there's a couple that live down by my spit down by my stitchy spot in front of the TV in our living room. But other than that, for the most part, that's where it all lives. If you want to know sort of my storage system, I suppose, if that if it even counts, let me know. I might do a floss tube extra video on it at some point, but it's not very extensive, as you can see, just sort of three, three bookshelves there. I have some notes, so apologies if I refer back to them a lot. I've got two finishes to show you, two FFOs to show you. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle in July. I've got three, I think, new starts to show you. I have some whips that I neither started nor finished in July that I worked on as well. I've got a retreat sort of update with some shout outs to do. I've got a lot of haul. <laughs> so I um, I did quite a few laps of, of the stitchy room when we were at the retreat this weekend um, because I just things just kept catching my eye. I saw so many beautiful projects. I saw so much stuff that the vendors had brought with them as well. And I just couldn't resist. And so called me a magpie. And I think that's probably a pretty accurate um, way to describe how I was this weekend. I just couldn't sit still. Um, so yeah, plenty of haul to show you in terms of a little bit outside of the retreat, but the vast majority of it is from the retreat and then I have my 1k giveaway 1k subscriber giveaway to do at the end of the video as well because I don't know what has happened over the past few weeks but within the last month I've hit 1000 subscribers which is amazing thank you so much whether you're new whether you're returning I appreciate you so much um so yes I've got a a little giveaway to do at the end of the video as well so stick around okay we will start with my finishes. So I, like I say, I had two finishes this month. The first one I finished was Katie Kitty by Brooks Books. I'm calling it a finish, even though it's a partial finish. So I'll show you what I mean. Here she is. Katie Kitty. And I am going to be stitching all 25 animals. So I have all of the borders for them, all stitched up and ready to go. But it's going to take me so long to get them all done. But I'm, I'm celebrating the little win. So I started her on the 1st of January 2022. I finished her on the 25th of July 2023. So if I actually want to turn this into an advent calendar for my kids, I am going to need to move a little bit quicker than that. It's stitched on a piece of 16 count DMC Ada in the colour pale blue with DMC. And then my second finish was a retreat finish. So I got up and rang the bell and then completely forgot to show everybody what I'd actually finished. So I'm just stood there ringing a bell, drawing attention to myself for no reason. Um, I finished my Jurassic Perk at the retreat this weekend. 
So this was a mania start. I started it on the 3rd of May 2023. I finished it on the 30th of July 2023. It's stitched in CXC on a piece of fiber on a whim, milk and honey, which is the called for 18 count Ada. And there's an off cut of this that I have given away with the pattern to my stitchy friend Sophie who was also at the retreat this weekend. So I was able to hand that over, which was really lovely. And now to go and check out sort of the charity shops around here to see if I can find a nice five by seven frame to get this popped into. So it can go in our kitchen above my husband's coffee machine. Yes. Another, we're going on to sort of fully finished items now. So you've seen this as a finish very recently but I decided that I wanted to take it to the retreat to put on the back brag table. So I finished it off completely um, so that I could do that. So I stitched clean day. I finished it back on the 22nd of June and I used a tutorial um, by Son of a Stitch on YouTube to turn it into a, a hoop finish with a spiral So it's 18 count Ada in Sherbet Dip from the Stitchy Ferret. It's just a piece of plain purple fabric, sort of layered on before putting into the hoop. And then spiral backing. So that is ready to hang up on the on my daughter's bedroom wall, which is amazing. The next fully finished item is another one that I finished a little while ago and I couldn't show you because I participated in the smalls exchange at the retreat and it was it was my sort of contribution to that so I'll pop a couple of pictures in I made a little needle book with a small pattern that I found in the world of cross stitching magazine from July 2023 a little uh, little beach scene and I turned it into a little padded needle book with little felt inside and um, finished with some fabric that I found in Hobbycraft UK. And yes, the recipients seemed to really like it, which was great. And I have um, what I received to show you a little bit later. I'm including it in haul because it's all of this stuff came home with me in this great big bag. So I will show you that a little bit later. That's it for finishes. So new starts, I, bear with me while I change my page. So I've started four things in the last two weeks of the month. I don't have a problem, I don't know what you're talking about. Christmas in July, we have to start all of the Christmas things. So I started this one, this is well, I've been calling it Milk and Cookie Company by Spooky and Steve. Picked this up on Etsy. I started this on the 18th of July. I'm stitching it on a piece of plain white 18 count Ada. One over one in CXC. And this is 359 stitches. So I'm 9.27% of the way through this one. My next start was because I had a little bit of, I felt like I was missing out. Burn Stitches, Tattooed Stitcher and Rogue Mama Stitcher, Bernadette, Amber and Jordan, all had a weekend where they started all the sodas. Hashtag start all the sodas. And I, yeah, I felt left out. So I was like, right, I've seen a few that I like. I finished my first soda sal. Um, so I, I want to get involved. So I picked up a couple of soda stitch patterns and got them started straight away. So on the 26th of July, I started Flower Girl. She's being stitched on the other half of the Sherbet Dip fabric from my clean day that you just saw. And because of the fabric, I'm again doing a color conversion. So I'm using the same purples. on her 
Again, CXC 1 over 1, and this is 538 stitches in, 15.31% of the way complete. The very next day, I picked up another soda stitch. So I saw this one on Jordan's Instagram and I thought it was just adorable. And this one I think I might just leave exactly as it is because it's just so cute. Summer Holiday by Soda Stitch. Started the 27th of July and it's being stitched on some 40 count even weave from Coffee Craft Fabrics, CXC two, uh, 1 over 2. And it is all blue on blue at the minute. There we go. So you can just about see it. It is, it's almost like a lagoon blue, this, this fabric. So it is really gonna look like they're splashing around in the pool, which is great. 283 stitches or 4.08% complete on that one so far. And my final start of the month was my retreat new start with Sophie Turtle Bay Stitches. We started a pattern from Cross Stitch for the Earth by Emma Congdon. Harden the weeds, we're feeding the bees. Making a pile on the floor. We did this as a stitch along, so anyone that wants to join, please feel free, we'd really love that. Pardon, hashtag pardon the weeds, Sal. I have to say, if we'd known any better, we might not have picked this pattern because where there's so much back stitching for the, the beautiful vines around the outside, there's not much sort of stitching quite close together, so there's a lot of counting. So it's quite a pitiful start, and I started getting some of the back stitching in so that we could actually see where we were going because I'm, ter I'm terrible at counting. This is on the rest, the very last piece of my fibre on a whim, milk and honey. And this bit here is about halfway, so it's only going to be diddy when it's finished, where it's on 18 count. We've got one person that has been using the, the pardon the weeds sal hashtag and they've finished it now and it looks amazing so I'm really excited to get onto that one. And that's it for new starts for July. So I think in total for July I did seven new starts. I'm being bothered. This is Alfie. You like to come and interrupt, don't you? What's going on, huh? Pause. Sorry about that. Um, in Here in Preston, given the fact that it's July, it has been awful weather. So that was Alfie coming to complain to me that I hadn't stopped it from raining. And I don't think he really understands. He's, he's eight this year, I think. And yeah, he still doesn't understand that I can't, I can't stop the rain as much as I, I wish I could. Right, whips. So the first one that I've been working on quite a lot this month is my Greenhouse of Oddities style. This printout is from the fifth planting. We're now on planting number eight. Last week was a week off. So this Friday we're, expect, we're expecting planting nine. So all of this has been filled in now. There's a plant up in the middle. I've just kind of been jumping around the pattern with, with whatever colour of thread that I fancied using. I haven't taken it on the key, off the cue snap for you. This is where I've got. I have finally reached the far right hand side. Just there. So most of what I've put in is this up here and then some of the centre plant there. We've got the little rat in. And this is stitched on 32 count coffee craft fabric again.
Um, I'm 48.56% of the way through that. So I'm almost halfway through the plantings as, as of now. The other one that I picked up for one more day's work, it's one I started earlier in the month and I've now put another couple hundred stitches in it. So we're at 6% of the way through on my sampler Santa. Santa. I don't know what's going on with my accent, to be honest with you. It's a big bit of a mishmash, isn't it? <laughs> sampler Santa. It's on a piece of, again, coffee craft fabric, um, 20 count Ada. Just the top of it there, being stitched in CXC 3808. And then the final one, no, not quite the final one, uh, but one of the, another whip that I worked on the very end of this month, is my story keep Pocahontas. So the retreat that I was at at the weekend was partially organized by Sam of uh, Little Loop Stitching. I first saw this pattern on her floss tube, which is what prompted me to pick it up. So it was really nice to have a chat with her about it um, while we were there. She's stitching hers two over one in tent stitch and I'm stitching mine one over one in full cross, both using CXC. And she's gotten to the face and you can tell just by looking at the picture that it's gonna be quite confetti heavy and she's struggling with it. So I've been given strict instructions that I need to get to the face so that she can see if she wants to restart it in full crosses. So. I'm doing it. I've put in another couple hundred stitches as soon as I got home from the retreat. I finally made it all the way across to the far right hand side. She's got 3.24% of the way through. It's about 1500 stitches. So I figure I'm going on another retreat again in April, which I'm pretty sure Sam will be at. So my aim is to get to about here, which should be about 6,000 stitches by next April. That is my target, that is my plan. So if I pop in a couple hundred stitches a week, I should get there. Yeah, I'll do it for you, Sam. I'll get on it. And then, this one is the final one. Final whip of the month is my Pumpkin King. This is my travel stitching, so I just pick this up whenever I'm going in the car for any period of time. Really easy to stitch on, it's just a 14 count Ada. It's a mystery Ada that I won on a sort of an Instagram giveaway, and it's so easy to stitch on. I've been doing this by colour completing, so I started by doing all of the black and then I started doing sort of the, the oranges, whichever has the most number of stitches left next is the one that I'll pick up. So I just colour completed this brown and then we've got some light orange going into it next. So next time we pick it up I'll be stitching the orange, which would be nice. And that is it for my whips. So if you're interested to stick around, I have I have a fair amount of wool to share with you. Okay, I'm back. So um, I've just remembered that I wanted to do a little bit of a retreat update um, before I went into haul and all that kind of stuff. So there were a fair few people that I had seen on Flosstube that were in attendance this weekend. And I'd like to give a big shout out to the ladies on my table who made it such a really lovely weekend, very, very chatty, not much stitching got done kind of retreat, which is exactly what I was expecting. Um, it was fantastic. So thank you to Sophie, of course. It was lovely to finally meet you in the flesh and I can't wait to see you at another retreat very, very soon, hopefully. Heather, 
Michelle, Joe, Shirley, Jenny, and Claire. Um, the floss tubers that I saw, I, I don't know about anyone else, but I was so, so nervous the night before turning up. It was like Christmas Eve, but with a little bit of terror included. Um, so I feel like the whole weekend was kind of spent, oh, I really want to go over and I really want to start talking to people and I really want to go and see what everyone's worked up on and working on and um I don't know I felt a little bit shy and that, like I couldn't go um and just start talking to people so to anyone that recognized me or that was wandering around the tables checking out everyone's patterns and things like that thank you so much and um, it was lovely to meet you all and I'm hoping that the next one that I go to I'll put my big girl pants on and I'll go and start wandering around and having a really good chat to everybody um, there are some floss tubers that I would like to shout out that I either had a lovely chat to or had a little nosy at the work that you're, um, the projects that you're working on. So thank you very much to Shirley, Crazy Cat Lady Stitches, I'm going to have to grab my notes here, uh, Silver Bunny Stitches, Jenny, Lauren, Floss Abilities, and as she introduced herself to me, Lynn, Floss Abilities Mum. Um, it was lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming over and, and stopping and having a chat with me. Cross Stitching Smiles, Jess and Rye. Um, we got to see the world map in in the flesh, which was... We knew... I knew it was going to be big, but you just can't really comprehend it until you see someone holding up something the size of a double duvet. It's, it was just ridiculous. I cannot wait to see the progress on that. Michelle, Mama Loves You GB. We had a lovely chat as well. Thank you very much. I hope you had a lovely birthday weekend. Stitching with my Littley, Kayla and Lauren. Thank you very much for the little chat we had as well. Cardiff Stitcher, Jack Danielle. And then of course the organiser, Sam herself, Little Luke Stitching. I'll tag you all in the comment box below, so if anyone wants to check them out to go and follow them, please do. The retreat itself was so good that I've already booked on for the next available retreat, which is next April. So last I checked, the weekend tickets were all sold out, but there were still some Sunday tickets left. So if you want to go to the Holiday Inn in Rotherham for the April Retreat 2024. Send Sam, Little Loop Stitching, um, a message and she'll be able to let you know if there's any spaces available for the Sunday only. Um, there is also, I picked up this little leaflet while I was there. They are doing a, what they call Big Stitch events. It's a year away, 27th and 28th of July, and I mean, hello! Guest designer Jacob at Modern Folk Embroidery we will be there. They also announced that Isabel from Primitive Hair will be there. They announced that at the weekend. So, if I can get away with it, my husband works shifts, so trying to find out whether he's going to be off is a bit of a difficulty. So, if I can get away with it, I'll definitely be looking in. Um, it's in Magna, South Yorkshire. And... Yes, go check out the website. It's got so much information. Don't buy all of the tickets though, because I need to. <laughs> there needs to be one there for me. Um, and that's it. We're on to horse. So I hope you are comfy. There is a there is a fair bit of it. First off, I'm going to show you some stuff that I got before the retreat. So there's two pieces of haul that I got separate from the retreat. The first one was from a Facebook Marketplace de stash group. I picked up this lavender and lace Celtic Noel and it is still sealed. And I've loved all of these Celtic ladies for so long. But I think I'd be happy with just one. And then the other piece was the Stitchy Ferret is having a bit of a summer break, so before she went she did a little sale. So I went onto the Stitchy Ferret website and bought 
piece of 32 count even weave in the colour malicious. Gorgeous, because I need more fabric in my stash. I loved the colours on these as soon as I saw it, so I had to grab that. That's those two. So while we're away, there were a couple of people that were being super generous um, and doing some little bits of stitchy kindness while we were at the retreat. So my lovely friend Sophie, Turtle Bay Stitches. It's a little sunflower needle minder and a little sticker. The lovely Adita had made what I think are crocheted little hens. So I also picked a sunflower and I had to wrangle this back off my son because he has claimed it as his own. He absolutely loves it. So thank you very much Adita for that one. And then as a gift, Sophie brought me one of her project bags. Now the first bag that I ever got from Sophie was a bumblebee one with this inside fabric on it. And I've got a sort of matching pair now with just the most beautiful zip pull. And it is keeping all of my, um, pardon the weeds, we're feeding the bees, feeding the bees stuff inside it. So thank you, Sophie. Then there was a raffle that was in support of the RLNI, the lifeguards. So I bought some tickets and I won, not only on the Saturday, but also on the Sunday. I won twice. Um, uh, the way it worked was if your number got pulled, you came up to the table and kind of picked whatever you wanted. And my number was called sort of fourth from the end both times. So I didn't get my first choice from sort of the raffle table each day, but I am still really happy with what I got. So on Saturday, I got a Carolyn Manning Designs pattern called Twist. Gorgeous. I'm not sure about the colours, the colours aren't really me, but I think what I might do is see if I can find another Carolyn Manning's... Carolyn... Try again. I'll see if I can find another one of Carolyn Manning's Designs with the same number of colours and kind of sub them in. See if there's one that I like. Um, because I have always wanted to stitch one of these. So I'm really happy with that. Sorry for me sort of ducking here and there. I've I've got to, I've got to drop it on the floor otherwise I'll end up just yeah surrounded by piles. And then on the second day there's sort of a stack of things in the in the one giveaway. And they are both full kits of cotton and twine club, monthly club things. So November 2022, which comes with the hanger to hang the finished piece from, as well as all of the fabric and floss that you need. And then also February 2023, which comes with the canvas for mounting it onto, it's long, along with the fabric. And so it's literally everything to, to complete it the way that it's shown on the model, which is, which is amazing. So I can't wait to get into those as well. Next up, I think I will do my smalls exchange. So I showed you pictures earlier of what I gave away. Um, this is what I, get there. This is what I picked up. I got this lovely cushion 
and some Jodry Designs counting pins as well. Absolutely gorgeous. It was stitched by someone called Kate who said that they were stitching it while they were on holiday themselves, which is great. So this has traveled more than I have this year. Um, it's Fun in the Sun by Shannon Christine Designs. So I'm so happy with that one. And now that I've shown it, I can I can pop it where it's just, it's so, the stitching is so neat, the finishing is so neat. I'm thrilled with it. So thank you very much, Kate. I absolutely love it. And then we're on to all of my purchases. So there were a few vendors and there was a de-stash table. So I, I kind of went crazy on all of them. I'll go with what I bought from the vendors first. So Turtle Bay Stitches, my friend Sophie was there on the Sunday selling her bags. So obviously I had to, I had to get involved and I brought this one home and even my husband said, oh, that's cool. So, you know, it's it's got his seal of approval. It's Sugar Skulls and then the little skeleton zipper pull. Amazing, love it. And you've heard pretty much every episode, I'll be like, I'm stitching this on Coffee Craft Fabric and I'm stitching this on Coffee Craft Fabric. And Coffee Craft Fabric was there as a vendor this weekend. So I've got more Coffee Craft Fabric. So I picked this one up. I've got the Bella Filipina Aria, Elemental Queen of the Air. So I thought that I might, I might see if she would go on that. I actually think it might be a bit too bright, a bit too yellow, because it is a more of a, a muted gold colour on the pattern. But I'll, I'll get it out and, and have a look and see if it's the right size and everything. Maybe do a floss toss, see if it will knock the desk. And then this one. They are both 32 count. The yellow is an even weave. And this one is a linen. It's a very neutral, dark colour. those. I've got notes on who I bought everything from. So I also picked up a grime guard. I came back to the table with this one and Sophie went <laughs> and went and picked up the same one because there were two of the same design. It's got little Charmanders on it. So cute. This is from Jess Gets Stitching and they also had a load of needle minders and sort of different size Q-snap and um, grime guards and things. So I will pop all of the details for how to get all of the fabrics and stuff um, in the comment box below. Um, Michelle of Stitch Mania Stash was there and I picked up a couple of things. So this is a little pop-up oort holder. You can see it's still full of all of my oorts from the weekend. Um, it just spins and, and folds down into, into a little disc there. And then before we did the smalls exchange, I picked these up. So I've now got six counting pins. I can count up. super high. So it's a little set. It's got three pins in it. And a matching tail tucker. So you poke that through under your stitches at the back. And it's got a little slit in it there. You can tuck your tail in and pull it back through. So, thread chicken. I will win going forward. 
And finally, from the vendors, was Michelle from Mama Loves You GB. So I've picked up my first ever sampler, alphabet sampler. This is Nessie Mitchell 1929. And yeah, I'm really excited to stitch on this. So it was Michelle's birthday on Friday and I noticed on Instagram this morning that she's doing um, a sale on her Etsy shop for all of her PDF charts. So if you want Nessie Mitchell or any of her other reproduction samplers, or this one's an original sampler, head over to her Etsy shop. Be right back. Okay, and now we've got things that I picked up off the D-Stash table. So it is a combination. Some things were being given away. Some things were for sale or swap. I, I honestly can't remember who they were for or whether I bought them or anything like that. So I'm just piling them all together. First thing I picked up was Farmhouse Chalk Carrots and Cottontails Farm. By Hands On Design. I also picked up a, it had been a mystery box from the Spinnyfield Stitchery and they popped it on the table and it's a Christmas theme one. So inside the mystery box, bless them, they did offer to show me pictures of what was inside the box before I bought it. And I was like, I'm not gonna change my mind now. <laughs> so we'll leave it as a surprise until I until I open the box. It's a little scissor fob, super Christmassy colors. A piece of truly hooked sewing thread. It's, it says it's 45% silk and, and that you don't need to split the strands. It looks a little wool-y, so it will be really interesting to stitch with that. I'm really, really intrigued to try that. Right there. A little snowflake thread keep. Um, there we go, there we go, Hello Treacle. Merry and Bright Christmas Stitching Pattern by Sarah Elizabeth Stitches. Another selection of Christmas characters by Maloka Designs. And then finally, again from Sarah Elizabeth Stitches, I think it's another reindeer. And I, th I think it might be thread conditioner because it doesn't have a, a scent or anything like that. Yeah, that all came in that mystery box I picked up. And then I picked up some bits of fabric. So they're just little off cuts for the most part. It's a piece of fabric flare iced coffee. Um, I think it's a 28 count printed fabric. A Swigart 28 count cashel. This is sort of a brand new piece. And then some more fabric flare, 16 count this time. Ada with these cute little gingerbread men on. So I'm, I'm very happy with these. And then, last but not least, I also ordered the Floss Friends UK Retreat 2023 goodie bag. So it came in this lovely tote and inside so, so many goodies. 
we got a project bag. With swimming woman. So the theme of the retreat was holidays. Sorry, bear with me while I grab everything out. We got three different patterns. So they're all by Little Loops. Paris in Love. We also got emailed PDF versions of these so that we could pop them onto Pattern Keeper. Explore the Unseen. Strawberry Cottage. And On the Beach. Along with on the beach this one came as a kit so there's the thread there there's some finishing fabric there to turn it into a cushion the box came with some yellow i chose even weave so i got some copy craft fabric even weave to stitch it on pom-pom trim for finishing it with And a little, I think it's an urge, but I, I can't be sure, I don't have any to compare it to. A little hoop to stitch it in. So I am looking forward to using that. Also inside, oh my goodness, so much stuff in this box. And a lovely pair of turquoise scissors with a little scissor fob, everywhere, a cute little pack of stickers, a lovely keyring, lighthouses and shells and anchors and things on it there. little sort of notions pouch which you can hook on to things two lovely little needle minders we've got a scuba diving corgi and to travel is to live really strong needle minders they're attaching themselves to absolutely everything including each other A little zip pull of a Volkswagen camper and a mini tape measure. And that, my friends, is everything. I have depleted all of my piles into one horrendous pile. <laughs> it's all gone. So yeah, that's everything from me this this week. No. I tell you what, me and giveaways, apparently it's not, it's not my thing. I'm not good at it. Completely forget about them. In the past few weeks, I have reached a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. And to say a huge thank you to you, I'm doing a quick giveaway of something that I brought up in my a couple of videos ago, I promised that I would do a little giveaway when I reached the, the milestone. So here it is. Once again, if you didn't see it last time, it's a one of a kind tur uh, turtle based. It. You wish it is nowhere near the quality of Sophie's work. This is a talking dog stitcher project bag. It's made by me in this lovely bumblebee fabric. It's Far from perfect, but there is a lot of love in this. It's it's taken me probably three hours or so to stitch this up because I am an amateur. Um, but, you know, it is secure. Everything stays in it. The zip works. <laughs> so if you would like to win 
this one of a kind project bag. Use the word bag, B-A-G, and that's what I'll search for. Please be 18 or over so that you can give me your address so I can send it over to you. I will ship internationally, so anywhere in the world you're welcome to enter. I, yeah, this is not affiliated with anyone apart from me. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I'll get better at those. I, I, I hope to do plenty more giveaways on my channel, so I will, I'll get better. That is actually everything from me. So in the comment box below, in the description box below, you'll find links to all of the vendors for things that I've purchased. You'll find links to all of the floss tubers that I mentioned that I've um, been chatting to or been sharing some stitchy space with. Um, and hopefully if you follow them, there will be some more retreat sort of updates as well which you know probably comes with plenty more haul so go ahead and follow those and I will see you in a couple of weeks for my mid August update and I can't believe it's August it's crazy happy stitching everyone bye